one. Oh, I haven't done I haven't done soul cast in the first smash in a long time, but I'm excited to do this again. I never got the compensate ACR actually. This is this is sick as hell. I love this game. Okay, back we're back in the blue zone. Definitely excited to see that combo game from Blue Zone uh, work its way back in. His shield's getting a little bit low already, though. Cupid trying to be aggressive up in that face, getting that jab check right to the face. 72% on the board, and he's climbing with it. So far, Blue Zone hasn't been able to get in with a combo option quite yet. And a little bits of damage here and there. Nair here, forward air there. But right now, Cupid is definitely feeling it. Heavy body, not... Uh, not gonna kill with the knee quite yet, but the next one definitely will. Oh, Blue Zone almost had that nasty stomp there off stage, but Cupid coming in with his own gets the follow up too, and that's gonna be the first stock on the board for Cupid. Appreciate it, Sinidia. Uh This is this is definitely my passion. Trying to take this as far as I can. I do commentary. I do uh, team management. I do I do whatever I can. So. Whatever, whatever keeps the community going, I'm here for it. Definitely got to represent uh, for Blue Zone though. Alberta, Alberta pride coming through. Ah, three out of four uh, at the start of the of this tournament. All from Alberta. Got, I gotta love it. Blue Zone though. Oh, he had the read, but the follow-up just not quite there. Kill. Definitely has to be on the board soon for Blue Zone. He's smelling it. 160. There it is. Big slam, but another big tech. That's an even bigger tech coming out of Cupid right there. Finally, Zern's kill off the top at 196, but it's definitely a lot slower of a pace from Blue Zone right now. He's not able to get the follow-ups that we've seen throughout this, uh, this tournament so far. Missed a uh, follow-up option, not able to punish the side. He had Cupid, but still able to play his life. He's looking for something. He's looking for that knee, and there it is. Why is that hitbox so damn big? Oh my god! I have to watch it back, like on the Twitch stream every time too. We got to run it through Discord, and uh, I got to get like the double play on that every single time because it feels like it shouldn't land. That shit should not land, but. Them's the breaks. That's you gotta know the matchup. Just can't get hit. Just don't get hit. At the end of the day, it is just skill issue. Late hit. Uh, late hit stomp. Blue zone. Looking out there. Oh wow! Great coverage there. I really like that option uh, after the uh, the back throw out of blue zone. Okay. I think that was a nipple stomp. I've sent out the sideways. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, was it Pony Pants? Yeah, that's that's what I've been saying this entire day. I, I've I've been, I've been having to deal with this uh, ever since Victor started picking up Captain Falcon like months and months ago. It's it's stupid. You either die at 50 or you die at 100 off the same grab. Like, look at that. The only reason Blue Zone's even uh, thinking about being alive is because he's a big body. He's still getting tossed around too after that uppy. Oh, almost got hit by it again. That would have been nuts. Oh, he got the charge this time, though. Okay, he's able to get the back throw in a forward smash again. Able to get the charge on it this time. Oh, big stomp there. No tech available. Somehow, Blue Zone's been able to turn this around. 157, yes. But a lead is a lead. And with that 13%, with that one hit, full capitalization off the extra stock for Blue Zone. Coming down to one versus one stock right now. Oh, that hit falling so good. Oh, it's so fast. So I'm getting the read. Using that dash attack. 60% on the board for Cupid. He's got to be a little bit careful. This might be kill territory if Blue Zone is able to work his way back in. Sitting at a comfortable 0% right now. Lightning kill flash is being shown again and again with every hit. Last chance for recovery out of Cupid right now, but he's unable to find the stage. And with the zero to death, Blue Zone able to take out game one. That's big too, especially as this, again, this is the one game uh, where Cupid was able to take a game uh, back in winner's finals. So not the greatest showing, but I think he wants to run it back. Yeah, he's definitely confident on this stage. He's able to bring it to last duck situation. 
and he's he's just chilling. He's just chilling. See how Cupid wants to play this again. He definitely is able to slow Blue Zone down right a lot. It's almost like a glacial play pace compared to earlier sets that we've seen Blue Zone play today. No more, uh, no more 100% combos just coming out of nowhere. Instead, Cupid able to work his way in yet again, just throwing, uh, throwing Blue Zone just off the side of the stage. No recovery, no jump available. Alex, I see you in the chat. Uh, love you, my boy. I miss you. Glad I got to see you again at Vic's house. Uh, amazing performance, dude. I love seeing you play this game. Next main match, though. Cupid. Got that stock league again. He's still cooking. 109%. Wow. Side B caught out with Blue Zone's own side B. Cupid definitely in kill percent territory right now. Blue Zone unable to get the proper follow-up, though. Reverse knee hit. He's going to land all but the Falcon kick. Startup frames taking a little bit too long to come out. Oh, nice up tilt. Out of uh, Blue Zone there. Didn't really think that would land, but it did. All right. All right. Cook a little bit. Cook a little bit. It's a nice 39%. Boom. Big stomp. Add a Cupid there. Finally getting tossed the other way now. Blue Zone looking to get this game back in control. That back air is going to seal out that stock. 3-2 to two right now for Blue Zone. Feels like for every lead that Cupid's able to get, he's able to tie it up just like that. For every lead, every time he's able to tie that up, Blue Zone's able to pull something immense just out of nowhere. Right now, that being displayed in the full effect, that Lariat being able to snap the ledge like that is um, just so cool. This shit's so cool. Giant Gimp coming out there for a blue zone right now. He's got a full stock lead. Playing his next one. It's going a lot faster. Only two minutes have gone. Somehow. And yet, this game is just about to be wrapped up. Command grab going to eat right through that shield. Blue zone really trying to find some sort of stomp to keep that combo going. Keep trying to find something that works way back in. Almost had something there, but a little bit too slow to react as the wall jump fair. Wow. Okay. Okay. Man, especially on a big body blue zone. But I, I like it. I like it. I'm excited to see it. Uh, I love cooking with the Marios in this game. Let's see if he's able to scrape out a win and keep going here in the grand finals. He needs a reverse sweep to... Just get Blue Zone to the loser's side here. So he's got a mountain to climb here, but definitely doable. He's able to start cooking, but no, it looks like the pot is being stirred by Blue Zone right now. He's getting a few crazy reads off right now. That back air throwing all the way to the other side of the stage. Okay, the read was there, but Cupid unable to get the follow up. Yeah, definitely good speed out of there. Nice catch, though, with the fair. That, that connected? That's a, that's a lot of this game. I'll be real. A lot of this just like, man, that's not supposed to hit. And then it does. Cupid Mario's eagerly unga bunga. Man, this whole game is unga bunga. Have you not been watching this whole day? We've been we've been talking about this the entire day, Snidia. I swear, I swear if a man, okay, they they changed this game a little bit. He's got the he's got the galaxy spin jump now? Man, I don't get to play this as much as, as I'm on to. Like I was my entire plan today was to hop on later and play uh NASB2. I just bought that game and I got to play it once and that shit is so fun, but now now I'm I'm here watching uh Blue Zone almost 3-0 Cupid Grand Finals right now. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh. I love Rivals of Aether. Oh man, I love Rivals. Oh my god! Hey, 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 hey! Nothing's, nobody said anything about getting a four stock blue zone. Hold up! Cupid. Oh, I was gonna say earlier too, if he goes for that charge neutral. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, I know I know it's not our Cupid, but blue zone, you bit of a bitch for that one. I'll be real. That's a little bit much. I mean, when you're four, st when you're three stocks up, though, I mean, you got that leeway to do that. You could do it another two times and still feel comfortable. Not able to get that grab off, traded out by Cupid's, uh, Cupid's attacks there, but 
He needs to play this uber defensively right now. Wow, nice confirm. Okay, the dunk after four there is able to confirm in the F smash. I like that. That's a cool little find. Okay, the wait on Mario uh, saves him from the might of that forwarder at a blue zone. But 80%, he's got two stocks to climb right now. Cupid trying to work his way back in. Oh, he's able to get the jab, but no big follow up. 84%, he's got to play his life like crazy right now. He's still trying to come in, trying to hit some crazy forward airs. Perry's even coming out on his projectiles right now. There's the dunk again. He's able to keep comboing out of it. Wow, that's so cool. I love seeing the spin jump like that. That's so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Not gonna quite kill Yuck uh, yet. Big body. Got 102 though. Ooh, up, it's up smash. It's doable. Oh, I got nearly there. Yeah, I, I'm, I know. I'm, I remember the charge fireball. It's just that seeing the the spin attack is a, is a little new for me. I don't remember that one. Maybe it's because I played Doc too much. Bid on his last leg right now. And the back air find is gonna seal it. Blue Zone takes it 3-0 in the Grand Finals. Oh, was that sub, what's that, sub 15 minutes? Sub, sub 15, uh, PB?